Anything's Possible podcast. We got 600 Pound Took Loco, <laughs> Frankie Franchise, <laughs> Dot, J.O., Echo, Hustle Bunny, and this creep. I said, you skipped my bad Dito. No, no, no. How can I forget Nino? Forget. <laughs> Nino White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just chose to call you a creep. Yeah, but, but, but. <laughs> but we're doing this with this podcast. We're having a conversation. We're having a talk with, with people in the last ten years that had a major influence in PA hip hop, right? Technically, we're speaking rap, rap and hip hop scene, because a lot of people did some dope shit that came from rap, and it's not really spoken upon. But like artists from rap have really set together and came up and, 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 and had um, good conversations. So it's a dope thing for people that made a major impact in rap and music. Hip-hop and sit down and talk about it. Hip hop heavyweights. Anything is possible, man. Anything is possible. We got people that been signed before. We got people that did dope, dope shit in the industry. Dope engineers, producers. You know, Frank is a legend. Everybody's a legend and they all right here. So, we're going to have to talk some how we got started and what we did in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> for you. I'm Hustle Bunny, aka Hustle Bunny Mile. Um, I've been doing hip hop since, well, 97, I really got into it by 99, my sister got signed to Rockefeller. I got to see a lot of the industry, and I wanted to take what I learned about being an artist and learn the other <coughs> side of the business, and we located back to New York and started my own radio show called the Original Hustle and Hills. And Reddy has very good talent that we're not recognized for, and I think that everybody here has <coughs> <possibly> played a major <coughs> chance with hip hop in Right. And I'm just trying to understand why we're at where we're at. So. I've been doing music out here for a while. My name's Echo. Um, my most recent accomplishment was with my nephew on a TV show called The Rap Game. Yeah, you should brag a little time. bit, nigga. You should you know brag. I mean? <laughs> yeah, uh, but other than yeah, that, yeah, but before yeah. that, I wasn't ready out yeah. here yeah. putting my footprints in, you know, and contributing to, you know, putting writing on. So he basically has been watching me, and on the show, I was able to basically manage him. And help him, you know, win it. So shout out to my nephew knows. But other than that, I'm an artist myself, and I'm just here, you know, to join the party and support. No, get this you message out. A you, know you should brag a little bit. I mean, talk, we'll, get there. we'll get there. You know, I'm all humble all about right. it. Nino, go ahead and talk, Nino. <laughs> I'm Nino White. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, they said it was liquor over here, so I came. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I just, uh, I'm just into the music. That's it. That's my thing. I'm not. I've been working on the project for about like two years. It's almost done. <laughs> uh, and when that drops, then I'll let that speak for itself. Not that I'm being cocky, but it's mm. nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. Tell you, you want to talk? I mean, I don't. I'm not a rapper. Sing, Man, you sing to me. I'm a singer. I'm not singing. Still but. Still <laughs> still 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 a singer. Still. He needs to blow some. You know, everybody's doing a 16 before this is done. I'm oh shit, there we go. Uh, there we go. Saw that shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah. You'll hear me at the end though. Even Dot. Yeah, D Dot, Uncle Dot. I've been around this rap shit for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I started with Greg Jarvis, got rest nigga soul. You know what I mean? Then started fucking with X. Met these niggas. I mean, all these niggas. D Dot, I'll bang by y'all. Yeah, that's why Uncle Dot. Dot. She and X. Uncle Dot, listen. Uncle Dot, make it happen. Dot, how you make like about it? A G in my life so far with parties and shit. He always got it. Yeah, Choke, you got it? You got me? I got him. Anyway, that's who I am. Man, I'm Choke, man. Y'all know me from doing big things like talking shit on the internet. I probably did your party or your wedding or your kid's party or oh, something shit. like that. I really ain't shit, but you know, <laughs> I mean, people make shit happen for me, and I, and I look like I did it. So, you know, that's one of the 48 laws right there. there you go. Make it look like you did it. Hold up, though. Hold up, though. All right, I'm Young Age Skyline. Hey. I've been doing rap for a long time. Uh, I managed before, threw parties, throw parties, managed. I acted on TV shows. Uh, we'll get to the rest of that bullshit when we get in the mix. But that's just the general basis of it. Uh, uh, franchise Beats. The man. I mean, uh, the man. The man. The man. The man. Yeah. Frank. Yeah, that, that's what's up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
like to push buttons. Megan <coughs> Beast since 97. Flex a little bit, Frank. Flex a little Flex, bit. Flex, tell them who you work with in the industry. Talk to them. You know. Everybody from your grandmama to your <laughs> to, to your grandson. <laughs> I just like to I like to make music. I like to help people create a sound. I like to help people reach a potential. You know, that's my thing. So it's pretty much me. And we got dope producer, that dope engineer. That's on the rise too. Right now <laughs> he's over there, baby Haiti. <laughs> we don't like that baby. <laughs> <laughs> This right here is a day that we can salute each other. <laughs> this right here is a day that 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 that, 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 that we can hype each other up and we, and, we, and we can share each other accomplishments. Yeah. So I salute all my peers, all my brothers, my sisters yeah, 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 for, yeah. Doing, for doing dope shit. You know, because I got history with all, with all these people. I've done things with all these people. I've shared history with all these people. Trust my man Uncle Dot. If I call my man Uncle Dot, he get the fucking job done, you hear me? <laughs> but I have dope history with all these people. And you know, this is the day that we can share this, this history with y'all too. And I hope the rest of you motherfuckers out there, <laughs> I hope the rest of you motherfuckers, you motherfucking young niggas, I hope y'all motherfuckers take something from this shit. Real shit. Y'all motherfuckers don't need to be hating on each other. Y'all big each other up. We in the same motherfucking pot. We in the same pool. Real shit. Y'all motherfuckers show each other love and push each other the fuck up out of this shit. Come together and invest your money. You motherfuckers. Your, your music is your drug. <coughs> since we want to talk, since we're trying to reach the younger generation, they understand that stick talk, the trap shit, whatever. Use your money. It's deeper than the trap shit. It's, it's deeper than the trap shit. You got to take that money and invest it. Fuck that you trap know, shit. Ask cap your shit. Ask cap your shit. You don't want to pay the dollars. What's wrong with you? Now it's a bar. You don't know who you are. Yeah, you're not yeah, investing yeah, in yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck about how many inboxes I get a day with music. I'm posting that shit. If you're not doing something with your music, don't send something right now. Because I'm not going to help you because you don't want to help me. That's how I eat, okay? Hey, Ed, let's get a dope ass story that you had for us from doing this shit. Give me a story that you'll never forget. Um, This is on H. Like, this is crazy. Hmm. Um, this is goes back to the competitive side. Like, even if you do feel like people in your city, you know, after the same dream, and you guys are like, you know, in a way competitors, but you just kind of like, you got you guys kind of stray away from supporting each other because you feel like you so you so competitive with each other. One of you's got to win. So I'm like, I'm doing my runs. I'm doing. I'm jumping in competitions, you know, and I'm out here like putting my leg work in, trying to rep ready. <coughs> And on by my side, I pull up to an event one day, and H is like, "I, right. I call him. He calls me to, to like basically to give me some, you know, some words and basically encourage me, like, yo, you know, good shit. I see you moving. I see what you're doing. You know, go out there and kill that shit. I got a surprise for you. I'm like, well, what's that? He was like, you'll see. So I'm like, oh shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. I keep that in my mind. I'm at the event. We pull up, mind you, this is in New York. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And we pu I pull up to the event, yeah, yeah. and I look to the left across the street, I see H. I'm like, what the fuck is he <laughs> doing here? So come to find out, H joins it, you know what I mean? And I thought it was really ill because it put this fire under me. Like, and my nigga H just came into this shit, now I'm, I'm definitely about to show ass. Like, he came deep as shit, nigga had the whole Move Nation squad, yes, chicks yeah. and sweatsuits, all that shit. So it was like, <laughs> when I show. seen him, it just yeah, made me feel like, great. damn, yeah, I gotta go super show. hard now. Like, and in a crazy way, we both came out closer after the event, no matter who won, which I did win. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker won. <laughs> that motherfucker got in there and started doing that. That freestyle shit. That motherfucker won. But let me tell you something. Listen, let me tell you something. What's crazy is, I used to call Act to come to my crib. I'd be like, hey, Act, me and you were going to like win awards at like the highest level. It may be like fucking nine months later, right? I had like the closing performance. I made sure I called this motherfucker Facts. to perform with me. Facts. And it was crazy. But I done been through like a lot of different cities and always see this motherfucker. <laughs> but <laughs> now, <laughs> listen, me and him have like a a certain type of like bond. It's like it's like a a competitive bond, but it's never like a disrespectful pet, co competitive bond. It's always like, yo, are you doing this, bro? I salute you, my nigga. Keep your fucking head up. Make sure you take that shit, my nigga. But at the same time, it's like for me, it's like, all right, nigga, it's time to work harder. Right, this motherfucker right. got to another level. Right. You got to push the buck. So it always been like, yeah, it always been like a competitive. 
That's what me and them have been like. Yeah, like like brothers. Sort of like brothers, but that's what me and them have in common the most. We might not ever see, we argue like a motherfucker. But we might not ever see eye to eye. We might not we not we might not ever see eye to eye. But we share that same passion on success. And that right there alone bring us like Super close. Where we are today. Why we are here today to talk to y'all and let y'all know there's another point beyond that. There's another level of supporting each other. You know what I mean? Like, even through the competition, find a way to still put, you know, you all got the same goal. Put your city on. Put your team on. Put your people on. You know what I mean? And stop looking for deals. Deals are absolutely Yeah, yeah fuck oh, that. That's, 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 a, that's a whole other episode yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 yeah, the Put yourself on. Yeah, I've been all over Reading. I done turned down too at 17. Fuck a deal. Shit. Niggas be out. Y'all niggas buy weed, right, man? Just go out there and buy your rights. That fuck is that shit. Go buy your copyrights and all that shit. A 360 only means they own your ass. And you got to pay all that back. 360 means they spend you want to search some fun. That's <laughs> let's sit. Yeah, they gonna make exactly. money off you when you're broke. <coughs> Absolutely. You see Register. all these famous people out here flossing this, flossing that. That shit is not theirs. That shit is not theirs. Listen, Back. get your shit. Yeah, okay? Register. Y'all Register. young cats Register. come together, a thousand dollars a piece. Go get some distribution. Go get some distribution. Push your shit because if you don't believe in you, ain't nobody else gonna believe in you. I don't work with artists who don't believe in themselves. You have to believe in me. You have to believe in your product, period, point blank. I ain't the dopest lyricist, but I'm confident in me, and mm-hmm. that's all that counts. Mm-hmm. I ain't the dopest lyricist, but I hustle like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm sitting with people that has been in this for years, and y'all. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how how special this is. Is you know how Talk how long it. it took me to contemplate if Frank was going to say yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> he barely likes taking pictures, but going to be on camera. <laughs> That was a lot. <laughs> but when Frank said, that's dope. And on camera. Nah, when Frank's like this, on it's camera because he's been chilling around Dominicans a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. Oh, yeah. I started taking the Rancho <laughs> Merengue. <laughs> that that explains the hat. That explains the hat. He got, he, got, he got super cocky. I started bringing around the Dominicans. They think he's Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> that explains yeah. the hat. Everybody in this room is legends and they all fucking right. Hot. 20 not, years from now, when Echo is no, short, not. And bow legged and fat, they'll still be talking about us. <laughs> he gave me the Dane DeVito treatment. <laughs> <laughs> they'll still be talking about Echo. 20 years from now, they'll still be talking about Hustle Bunny. 20 years from now, they'll still be talking about Frank Franchise because he'll, he'll breed he's, another he's, Frank Franchise. And they'll better. still be talking about everybody in this room. You better. Nah, let me get my 20 years. I need my 20 years. I need my 20 years. I was saving you, you for that. That's the good here. thing. Like, Hold on, no, I want that. I can that. always part it off like, no, I that's Nino. He feels like it's in that omen. I need that shit. Like, <laughs> I need that. Like, you gave everybody else. He always <laughs> making like super awkward. Like, hold on. No, I'm I'm not, not, we uh, we gonna go in the same spot. <laughs> no, you know same what? Same clothes on one time. You know what my problem is? I say shit that like you know how people filter right. through their mind and then they say something mm-hmm. to make it sound better. I say shit yeah. that is right there on the spot. Like, I give it to you like that. But then I don't laugh. And then they be like, is he joking? Is he being sarcastic? No, I'm just telling you honestly what's on my mind. And then that's why I fight a lot because, like, honestly. That's why I fight a lot. Because I be like, I'll tell you raw. And then they can't handle it. They be like, oh, he trying to be funny. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, shit. But now, no. Nah, you know, no, no, I took a nap. I took a nap one time. I took a nap. I took a nap. Huh? Nino, you know what it is? You just a fucking asshole. You're no, I'm not even gonna hold you. Yo, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Nino, 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 I'm bad. Hold on, chill. No, 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 <laughs> it was like, nah, y'all niggas is ass, y'all suck. All kinds of just, <laughs> oh, shit. he was disrespectful yeah, on stage. Oh, if, if, <laughs> if they didn't do anything to him, it would have been like, oh, y'all niggas is ass. Real shit. I watched niggas walk out. I watched niggas. Nino go on stage and say shit and niggas walk out on him like, no, mm-hmm. fuck that. We ain't with him today. Well, I heard <laughs> real shit. I'm like, it's going down. I heard Chelsea say some disrespectful shit too. A motherfucker he's before another, another bold came guy. to him and he said, yo, you should have wrecked no more. That shit was ass. We couldn't believe it. <laughs> but we want to have choke you on some disrespect. Who's the who's the wackest rapper in the city? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot.
a lot. No, a here's lot. the question, Chosen. Yo, be a lot. I am. I'm about to be I'm about to be hundred thousand right now. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. Right a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Tons of them. A lot of those niggas is whack. All right, but, but, who's who's but, in but the, the wackest nigga with the biggest buzz right now is Clay Hop. Clay Hop. <laughs> He's not answering the question Come for on. me. You can't talk about him like that. Bro. But I can't. Listen, 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 listen. I love Clay Hammond. She said he liked Clay. I said something. That's I like you. Clay I know this is a show. I know this is a show. Like I, 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 I like Clay. How you want to tell me? How you going to ask me a question and you get offended by my answer? No, I'm not offended. I'm going to tell you something, though, right? Go ahead. You don't know Clay about him. All right. Uh, Everybody know Clay. Like he obviously. Why is he the wackest Joe? Look, look, no, no, no. Listen, Joe. Listen, he like listen. He's, he's not. He's not the when wackest. Comes, when it comes to wackest, he's got buzz like a rapper should. Because there's niggas that can like rap, don't got buzz like Clay Hammond. He's like. He's in competition with him. Like, but he's just not. He's just not there yet. You know what I'm saying? He got the work ethic of. That every rapper should have out here. All, he's everybody right. should have that. But, no, but, but hold on. But hold on. Hold on. <laughs> but hold on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what yeah. makes yeah. him do. I mean, I've seen the nigga name, but I ain't really. So why yeah. is he not Everybody, good listen. He's, he's, everybody I'm not gonna seen lie. I'm play, and I was like. His, uh, his bars are not there yet. <laughs> but, is that it? But, but listen. Is that it? But listen. He's way too cocky for his bars not to be there yet. But, I I but, no, but, but, I but, 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 respect his work but, ethic. No, no, I no, love no, his work ethic. That. That's, that's why, that's listen. why he, I get to say he's the wackest rapper. Because a lot of niggas don't get mentioned. Yeah, fuck his work ethic. I know, that's why. <laughs> 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 no, that's hard. That was hard. That was hard. Yeah, I'm the asshole. I'm the asshole. Well, what happened? You know what I'm saying? I respect this work ethic because yeah. a, a lot of other niggas don't get mentioned. Like, I can't no say way. you're you no and you're way. a whack rapper because mad niggas rap that aren't Clay Homage. I don't even know who the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? But Clay I know who Clay Homage. is because he works. Right. He got Clay videos. Homage. He's got Homage. content. Homage. His, Homage. Homage. his shit's on this is 50. Clay Homage. Homage. is everywhere, nigga. Clay Homage puts himself in a position his thing to be is talked about. His thing is controversy. He's fucking smart. But the thing is that, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't fuck with his rap. But I fuck with him as a person because I'm like, if you're bold enough to put yourself But that's out, not the question I was asking. Who's the wackest rapper? He can be the coolest nigga ever, you know what I'm saying? People, I play homage. Yo, I go to work with that nigga. Yo, I be at the Olive Street to shoot pool. Yo, 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 the shit he been saying. I know his mom. We had dinner. What the fuck? I, I don't He's know. He's a whack rapper. What I'm saying He's is that rapper. you either get, oh, you either get an SSI checks or you got guns in the crib. Because uh. you, you can't be that crazy <laughs> to talk you shit about. You got guns in the crib when a nigga says, I know his yeah, mom. Listen, man, we had dinner. As, listen, as far as we as far as know, we got guns in I'm the crib. Sorry, listen, nigga, I'm sorry, nigga. I'm sorry. Listen. Don't fuck with Clay Hunt. think that's crazy? He's going to make one song that's going to fucking pop. He's going to make one song. And everybody around like us that. That he, actually he, he spit. Like that weird right. Stuff. But, 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 right. but, 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 there's an audience for that. Okay, wait, 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 Yes, exactly. The, there's an audience for that. He can go viral. I'm going to give him another look. I'm going to check it out. It's very real. So if you're spitting that shit homage, and you ain't really got guns and shit like that, there's niggers that will test you. If you don't know the four elements of hip-hop, I tell him, stay the fuck out of my inbox. Yeah. Slim that shit gonna lie. If that young nigga get the right person behind him, there's a lot of stuff. He gonna box his dad on the bar. What was that white boy name? Slim. Yeah, if he get the right person behind him, he's gonna box. He got people behind him, though. He got people behind him. I know some. 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 You need savages you all the time because you still need to stay. Because the reason you have people, I mean, we all do <coughs> shit that maybe we have not done. Listen, we've all done that. We yeah, but music not like that no more. The industry not like that no more. The rap, industry more than that. Rap is just poetry from a struggle. It was a struggle poet. Like, you know what I'm saying? A poet that was struggling, that was going through real life shit. That's how rap started. So, the savage part, you could be the man making money yeah, you and you gave that shit up. Yeah. But no, keep I'm the savages. Savage. I'm pulling up artists. So, so I am a savage. Nah, you a good man. I you a good pull, man. You listen, got, you got a nine to five. You go to church. Listen. Yeah, but I will pull up on your ass. If I hear some shit that I don't agree with, I will pull up to your residence. No, so grandma could be cooking in the kitchen, and my boys should be coming through the doorway. So you say you pull out game weak, but you pull up game strong. Both of them. All right. Not getting political tonight. What would it take for all the artists? 
and ready to really support each other. You know what I'm saying? Like Money. fuck, fuck, getting a deal. I give you a main that. answer. Am I lying? Money. Yeah. Take them to swallow their Money's fucking not eagles. Fix that. All, right. 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 all right. eagles. I know I made that song. That's really good. Listen, swallow or, 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 or all right, go. Wait, wait, because the there's swallow there's, eagles. There is enough talent here that Redding could be a whole fucking label on its own. Exactly. I'm gonna tell you what it should be. Exactly. You know, you know. Oh, you know what it's gonna take. Yeah, you know. Oh, a sit down with the higher ups on some other shit. But like, yeah, way, but the higher ups with the young niggas too. Because there's some young niggas that's running these streets right now. Not for nothing, they kind of like, like, not for nothing. I feel like I be having to kick it into a whole nother grind. Cause there's some young niggas that's running these streets oh, right now. For sure. For and, sure. And, and, and the main thing, it was it's crazy because I had a fucked up right now. For sure. These young cats for got sure. the They got the game fucked up. Right up. But, but I had a premonition. The, I had a premonition you know, a couple crazy. days ago. It's crazy. I said, I remember one time we was the young niggas running these streets. Yeah. I yeah. remember one time we was, we the, was dumb. We, yeah. So yeah, now but, you got it. But niggas respect the code a little more. Niggas respected the code. Yeah. So it's going to take for maybe next time we have this motherfucker, we get two of the young niggas that have an impact on the streets now so they can understand it with us. We need like three, four episodes of that type of shit. Yeah. The next episode, all of us come and we bring two of the young niggas that's now running, running the streets. Because not for nothing, dumb young niggas... They got the fucking the main niggas. But here's what it is. Murder gang. Murder gang. Murder gang got on stage and did fucking um. Check it out. The gumbo Listen, remix. Nigga, yeah, that shit really going be, crazy. I don't really be crazy. It's really just people coming kind of putting you know the egos aside. It's really you know kind of people just will, being willing to come together. And willing a to lot say. of people are too stuck in their little yeah, lives. Yeah, that's people, what I'm saying. Like, 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 so, Both of us look, in the same room, that's is. a lot of fucking it is. testosterone, bro. And, and what are we doing right now? We always we always have, though. This is what okay. I'm saying. We've had moments where me and you gang war about situations. But then we have moments where like we just super connect. Like, I knew about you on the show before even the public did. And my whole thing was, hey, yo, bro, kill that shit. Sorry. Put the fuck on, bro. I'm proud of you, my nigga. I love you, my nigga. Do your fucking mm. thing. Not one time spoke about it to the general public. It's not their fucking business. Mm -hmm. My thing is to you. I always want to see you excel. No matter what type of comp competition man you is in. I'm going to fucker. Yeah, our competition. <laughs> yeah. My boy slip. He's the brother too. <laughs> He's the brother too. He he knows. Sometimes I be like, yeah. man, that motherfucker get on my nerves. <laughs> but he get on my nerves in a good way. Because for the last fucking nine years, I've been... Me and you, we look at each other. I said, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going harder. The only person that ever motivated me, and shout out to J-Rock, because J-Rock put me on a lot of shit. Yeah. But it was only <laughs> one artist that I felt had the passion that I had out here. And that was you. So I said, if this motherfucker, when he boosts his levels, because my thing is always boosting levels. It's not it's, it's not to stay stagnated. So if I'm at one plateau, I'm looking for another plateau and another plateau. And when you're in a race with somebody at... They boost the levels or feel like they got to boost levels with you. Right, it's a beautiful still, feeling. Still, you feel man. me? It's a good feeling for me to look over and be like, yo, he's not in my camp. I got to take care of my camp. He's not in my camp. But I care about him like he in my camp because he keep me motivated. When I look over, I see my boy. I'm like, damn, he moving. That see, shit pushed me to get on see, TV. But, but see, but listen, I said, I got to do something new. Fuck that. But see, but that's your perspective on it. You know what I'm saying? And if people will have, if, if, if some of these artists will have that same look on it, they would act. No, it's respect acting. for the yeah, game. Yeah, because not a lot of people are like you, H. Not you know a lot saying? of people. I mean, a lot of people come from this. We have to take the same way. Trying to like, the then. way you link with me, not a lot of people made that same approach. The way you had your outlook on, like, the way I was doing shit made you do your shit. And whatever, it was it was vice versa, because I used to see the same shit. Like, look at this motherfucker killing shit out here. Like, <laughs> doing shit that I'm like, all right, boom. Okay, I seen this, boom. And it's like, you do some new shit and do a new spin move. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So it was kind of vice versa. But it was like, just watching watching how you was doing shit kind of made me feel the same way, too. Like, it was nuts. The, 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 the dope thing about it is when you have... Uh, ego, because I'm a prideful motherfucker. I believe in me. You I think, feel me? I think I'm proud. Like, I should do. Like I believe in me be like wholeheartedly. That. So for me to have a type of ego, but a certain type of like respect for another man, crab, and 
everybody knows Echo is like the same. Like he, he's like more Hollywood than me a little bit. So for him <laughs> to even be able to put it to the well, side and and, 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 and and do the same thing, yeah, he's quietly with his. I'm like more like you know, he's a fuck, guy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, me, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> fuck you, me. And you, and you <laughs> called me. Yeah. And, and what the fuck was I? You called me. Absolutely, and you always there. But for us to have these type of like belief in ourselves and be able to put that to the side, they can do it too. Yeah, but, but see, but exactly. I, 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 that's, I, that's, so, that's some real shit. They but, can do it too. But, but they, because so, this man <clears throat> in his own right have touched beautiful plateaus. I have touched amazing plateaus, plateaus that I never thought I was going to touch in my life. Right. And he have touched beautiful plateaus. But for him to be able to say, you know what, I'm putting my pride to the side. For Hustle Bunny, Hustle Bunny working on some dope shit. Two years from now, that show not gonna be the same show that she's working on now. But that's that's, that's what, just gonna be fucking. That shit's big. gonna be big. That's what dictates a rapper's success, right? Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. <laughs> Max Semi, Max Semi's here. A lot of people won't come together because they take it more as a threat. Like, yeah, man, oh, he get hot. Sit down, Sims. You got know I me. Mean? Part of this shit. So that's that's the basic. What's up, boy? Brought the dubs. Okay. <laughs> Introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are. I'm Nina White. Shut up! <laughs> yeah. I'm Max Simi. You look like I'm in the place to be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check it out. So now this is a great time to ask this question again. Ask it. I got an answer. You know what I'm saying? Right to the fire, homie. I'm what cooking. What would it take for Reading artists to, like, just come together and push themselves. Like, you know, not look for no major deals. Like, there's enough talent here. Like, Redding a free is, show. Redding is like a label in itself. I'm going to give no, shit like this. this. Listen, listen, I'm going <laughs> to give it a Listen, shit like this with niggas, with niggas they can trust. Like, echo around. And I'll tell you what, if, if a motherfucker is nice <laughs> enough, I'll bring a motherfucker down and sponsor a motherfucker. Uh, Likewise. Uh, I mean, like. Uncle Dot, like, Uncle Dot, that's my motherfucker nice enough. Yeah, bring him there. Right. Listen to me. If you're that's nice why he's enough, Uncle Dot. Sponsor, you mean your whole shit, whatever. You. I mean, I'll put up the money for you to go on stage. You ain't got to pay shit if you're nice enough. That's that's the key word. And we're talking if really, you're nice we're talking enough. as young as like, let's be really honest. Like I was 16, 15 years old, running around, you know, sitting with Unc, and he would take me to studios and take me before I even knew what studios right. was. Like, and that's how I met Frank. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So shout out to Frank. But That's like this, the, the same situations is the yeah. same. You know, he was willing to do this while I was just young, and he's still around. So to me, yeah. that's why I call him Uncle Doc, because he, he, there's many times where he just covered things for me. You know, what I mean, as a young boy, you don't really understand how important it? that is. But it's yeah, more than yeah, the money. It's more than it's more to it than about somebody just kind of just believing, believing in you. Believing yeah, in yeah, believing in you. Like you know what? Hey, you know man. what I mean? And he, somebody, won, you know, giving them money. That's commitment. That's that's. No, but that's should just, you should just be the type of motherfucker that's to understand God. that later when you grow up, though. Yeah, to be like, damn, this nigga was like throwing shit down and investing in me and covering shit like back then. A lot of motherfuckers don't think like that, and that's the fucking problem with the young niggas nowadays. And that's why they don't sit down because they, they need to know shit like that, and they don't have older people like that right now. Because a lot of kids is having fucking it's like babies having babies. babies. So it's and like young niggas raising young niggas. Yeah, man. so it, it gets yeah, even deeper than that. Young, young niggas raising young niggas. niggas. All I'm saying is appreciate your OGs. You know what I mean? Appreciate people that was there for you. Shit, OGs Years almost before, a thing of the past. Mm. Well. Whatever. It is. Right. The OG's name like 15. Word. Well, uncles ain't, because I'm, you know, I, I'm it still is. the same for no. Like, and that's why I call him Unc. He does what I do for no. Basically, he's done for me. You know what I mean? Besides, nah, but like, rapping and shit, because he don't spit. Like, that's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, but he can't like a right. motherfucker, we'll Yeah, but he, he yeah. you know, <laughs> no, you, you wouldn't notice it by the other things he's teaching you. But so, yeah. I like to keep it 100 with you, my boy. I mean, I got to keep it 100 with you. And he just walked in, and we're not, we haven't paid. You know, who the, makes him? the right, yeah. The he right, right said that he was in the place to be. He's yeah. been highly active. He's yeah, been highly active. A, like, got a studio, Studio so, Six. Shout out to Studio Six. Okay, okay. Right. your Studio Six? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Unnecessary. Unnecessary. <laughs> that was the best one. Unnecessary. Um, to me, like, to me yeah. that's my favorite shit. Like, the necessary <laughs> joint. Yeah, I remember, listen, me and Maxim used to record at the college together. Right. That's we had, this, saying, we had a studio Listen, room at the college. All I'm saying is like, this is about shout you. out I to our Jada. Well, but second of all, I just feel like, man, just to answer the question that was put out there, I just, it's like y'all hitting on the horn. I just feel like people need a bigger platform out here. 
like within the city, of course, what, what people's already doing and just mix that in, you know, and he's like X said, the young dudes, you know what I'm saying? They, all the way up to whoever's doing anything, but at the same time, everybody need that, just that platform to get all their shit out there, a nice little circuit, you know what I'm saying? Like when the shit is posted, you know, it's just an automatic uh, platform that's getting behind it. Yeah. And really, you know, pushing what's going on in the city because it's a lot of dudes that's out here that's dope and yeah, females. Yes. You wrote this shit down? This all. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Nah, you I just like, feel like, you know, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, nah, I ain't even fit. Like Y'all talk to him about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit came off too. I, I just feel like, that's why I need that show. What's the name of that shit again? Nobody needs to listen to me, though. Nobody needs to listen to me, though. That's a really good show title. I'm, I'm starting to change my mind about that cut. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all I had to say as far as that. You know Shit, that was a Obama <laughs> speech. Fuck you, me. That's all I gotta say. Now we gotta hit him with the question that changed my whole. What was the highlight moment that you realized you had that book? Motherfuckers really fuck with me. I think what Nino said, I gotta support that. When I drop necessary, you know. Niggas drop tracks all the time, you know what I'm saying? And I remember I dropped that track, and then, like, yo, my motherfuckers just listen to that shit, not even before I performed anything. Like, motherfuckers listen to it, you know, just walking around. It's always been like that with certain shit, but it's just like, listen. once I started performing that song, and I see the crowd, and I see other <laughs> artists, and I'm gonna tell niggas you. on the stage, you know what I'm saying, really rocking out with that shit, we, you, you know, we got Mac. classic footage with I'm that shit. Mac. Mac, there was a period of time, and he still does it for real, Mac dropped a track every week. Every week he dropped a track. You know what I'm saying? Like it just he just put out music, put out music, and it's like you could not notice him. Yeah, not only that, man, his fucking performance, man. He wanted all Yeah, because I pride that's, myself. That's on when I became a fan of Mac. But when, when I, I, I say I'm performing, I said, this motherfucker, I pride myself on like setting up performances to be hype. And then I seen this nigga, I said, this motherfucker, man. <laughs> and then and then I heard, I started, it made me want to listen to his music. After I seen him perform, that made me want to hear his shit. And I was like, listening to it. I'm like, and he's fucking structured. Yes. Like, he like, you know, right. I'm like, he's he's know what he do. He do. He owe me a fucking man. video, too. Sucker. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and he, he has that same exact energy. Oh, we're not going to get past this. He owes oh me a God. fucking God. video. We not get past in the, in the booth, Hold on, we're not gonna get past this. He uh, owes me a fucking video. Yeah, yeah. What's up with the camera on him, Jago? Now turn it around on yourself, bro. Oh, if y'all need man, a video, I it, man, hit Jago Flow. Well, he's niggas, fucking man. dope. Everybody in the city yo, got a video Flo from him. If you didn't get a video Jesus. from him, Flo make sure you hit it. Flow Television. If you didn't get a video from him, you stupid. Especially if you live out here. Something wrong with you. Because, like, Got the best quality. What's that? You probably for the best yeah, price. Yeah, I'm looking for that. Somebody stole it. You're probably yeah, stupid yeah. if you ain't get that. No, video real shit. Yet. That's mine. Today was the first of many podcasts that we're gonna do to 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 to, to give insight on what we've been through and what we stand for and my passion for music, my love for music, my love for the community and all that shit. Some of them is gonna be super real. Some of them is gonna be super touching. Some of them. we all got different stories. But today is one of many. So, if you tune in today, that's a good motherfucking look. Facts. It's, it, 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 it's a step towards the motherfucking future. It's progress. So, I'm Young Gay Skyline. I came up with anything possible. In the middle of it, we transferred to... Right. Nobody, nobody listens to listen Nino. Nino. Coming <laughs> soon. That's going to be a great show. Woo! So, but nobody's going to know about it. I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 Yo, fuck it, man. Every time. Yeah, every time. <laughs> Stupid. Every time. <laughs> Once again, I appreciate I, I appreciate that everybody tuning in. And once again, listen, I really appreciate my parents because they took time out of their day. They all dope. They all legends in their own right. This is hip hop support hip hop. This is parents supporting parents and picking up each other. Shout out to Hustle Bunny. Shout out to Echo. Shout out to Nobody. Listen to Nino. Next Simi. Shout out to Uncle Doc. Yeah. Shout out to Choco Loco. Yeah. Shout out to Frank McCracken. Yeah. Franchise Beats. No. Shout out to Baby Haiti. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going on. It's going on. Shout out to Jago Flow and shout out to, out to, and shout out yeah. to my cocky ass, Young Ace Skyline. Yeah. To the next episode, we the fuck out. <laughs>